Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge, and welcome to this special video to celebrate the fourth birthday of the Geek Cover. So hurrah, happy birthday to us. So yeah, four years ago, we started out on our YouTube journey with our 60 seconds video. That was the first video that went up on the channel on this very day four years ago. And uh, yeah, other than that, there was no real agenda. There was no plan. There was no kind of ultimate goal. It was just a case of, do you know what? I've seen other people talking and playing games at the same time. I'll give that a go because I talk a lot of nonsense and I can play games at the same time. So yeah, let's just see what happens. And yeah, so four years on, four years of daftness and fun and tea and games and silliness it has been wonderful thank you to all of you lovely people out there for being a part of it because if it wasn't for you lovely folks out there then i would just be a bloke sat in a tiny cupboard room talking to themselves which would which would be a bit silly wouldn't it so thank you all for making it the wonderful little community that it is it is fantastic it really is it's so much more than i kind of imagined it would ever become so yes thank you again you are all aces anyway so to celebrate this to celebrate four years of geek cupboard shenanigans we're back with Chef. Now we haven't seen Chef for quite a long time. It's been over a year and a half, but Chef has recently come out of early access. And so now this is the full version of Chef. As you can see down in the corner, this is a proper version one release. So I thought we should come back to Chef and just take a look at the full version because this game is a big part of the channel's history. It's a very big part. It's quite a popular series. It's one of the most popular videos. So I thought it made perfect sense to return for the birthday special. So let's start a new game, shall we? But I do have a bit of a plan. I've got a bit of an idea of something that I would like to do in this little look at Chef and you know how well plans and things like that go in the Geek Cupboard so I'm sure everything will be absolutely fine. Okay, so they still do have the character creator bit in. We still get to create us. Oh, and they still sort of jump up and down on the spot. That's wonderful. It looks a little bit easier to do now. So, okay, well, who should we be? Um, how about we be you there? Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. You've got the kind of stripey thing on. And um, head, can we just have uh, that one there? That'll do, whatever. Um, hair. Oh, yeah, how about that hair? Oh yeah, that's good hair. I like that. And hair colour. Let's have it, let's have it really kind of strikingly blonde. How about that? Skin colour, absolutely. We'll leave you like that. Face details. Um, okay, what's that do? That puts a, oh yeah, we'll have a bit of that. We'll have a bit of, a bit of that up there. And expression. You look a little bit kind of, turn round. Turn round, chef. There we go. You've got a bit of a wibbly sort of face on that. I'd like to look. There's no sort of smiley faces on this, is there? Where are all the smiley faces? Can we just have that? Yeah, that, that's, it's almost a smile. You're almost cracking a smile. And then, of course, we're going to have to have some Geek Cupboard corporate clothing. Of course we are. There we go. That looks good. Um, clothes colour number three. What's that doing? Oh, that's just a kind of different, two, two different types of silver, I assume there. Um, okay, and there's a difficulty now as well. Okay, so normal, hardcore, relaxed or sandbox. Uh, we'll go on normal. Absolutely. We will play on normal mode. Thank you very much. Okay, so the next job we've got to do is pick where we want to set up our business. And this is really different from the last time we played Chef. Because now you can see this big map of the entire city that we're in. All broken up into the little different sort of regions. We've got farmland and countryside on the outside. There's small towns over there. And then we move in toward the city centre and we get the suburbs. We get kind of financial district areas. And then we get kind of the old town in the middle. I think that's what that was, wasn't it? That was the old town, that symbol there. So we get to look at it all. And yeah, it's really lovely there's a lot of detail you can see individual cars and there's little sort of boards and trees and you know houses and stuff all over the place so yeah it looks really nice i do like that so we need to pick somewhere that's going to be okay for rent but also has some good kind of benefits i think we want to start probably in the middle these are the sort of touristy trap areas so let's start over here is that old town yeah that's called the old town so these they're all quite expensive although that's not that bad um, that is in the restaurants district and that's going to attract food enthusiasts and gourmet customers. No, that, that's not what we're looking for here. Yeah, that's got a red on it. That's got annoying snobs in it. That's not good. Uh, oh, what's that? A popular area. Ah, that could be quite good. 750 in rent. That is absolutely okay. Small kitchen and a small hall is absolutely fine for what we're going to have a look at today. And yeah, if it's only 750 rent and we've got ourselves extra attractiveness for white collar customers, family highs, that's high class families, uh, high class tourists, and then food enthusiasts and gourmet customers. That's not bad. 
Okay, let's look over here. There's fast food nearby and a landmark. Okay, and they've all got, what's that? Narrow street and a luxury hotel. They're all relatively expensive except that one there and this one here. Ah, okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. 720 rent. So the, rest, the rent is a bit higher, but we do get more uh, high-class tourists coming in because they come in from the Fancy Pants Hotel that's nearby. So 720, or where was it? That one there. 750. Um, I quite like that. And it's a small kitchen and a small hall. We don't need more. So yeah, we will set up over here, please, in this Fancy Pants Old Town area just here. So here we go, and this is our little building here. It's absolutely perfect. The size of that is absolutely fine for what we're going to look at today, and it doesn't look like too much has changed in Chef. You know, it's got the same sort of overview. The buttons are in the same place. There's a little kind of summary thing up here, which I think was over there once upon a time, wasn't it? But now I think is that that's showing us sort of how many customers are waiting outside and how many are waiting for their food and what have you. So that's quite useful. That's quite a good thing. But okay, yeah, everything else sort of looks very familiar. We've got seven and a half grand and we need to set up something very lovely here. So of course the game is called Chef and you can create all sorts of wonderful dishes and all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna do something very specific. We're gonna try and set ourselves up a little cafe because you can in this game now get tea and of course coffee, but we might not serve the coffee. I'm not entirely sure. We'll put the coffee on for those strange folk who would like a cup of coffee, but mostly we'll be focusing on the tea and you can make sandwiches and things like that, sort of cafe based things. So we're gonna make ourselves a little cafe, serving teas and sandwiches and cakes, lots of cakes and pastries and wonderful things like that. So we'll do away with a lot of the, you know, the hot food kind of prep stuff. And we will just try and make ourselves a little cafe because why not? because that sounds fun. It sounds like a fun thing to do. And of course, if we're making cakes, we can make a birthday cake and we can have a birthday celebration cake here in Chef to celebrate four years of the Geek Cupboard. I think that sounds like a good plan. So let's get started, shall we? So of course, we want to make this place look a bit better and we can do that with all the different sort of uh, walls and what have you. So right, now I haven't been in this for a little while. So right, I might be a bit rusty on where things are. Okay, What's that? That's the hall flooring. So that's the main flooring in there. Can we get it geek cupboard corporate? Can we do that? I mean, that that's tiles. That's blue tiles. Okay, that's not so bad. And then how do we do the wall in there? The hall walls. Can we make those a sort of a lovely shade of yellow? Can we do that? Oh, no, that, that's all sorts of terrible. Hang on. That's even worse. What about that? Uh, yeah, that's that's probably okay. What about these? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Can we just do simple paint? Hang on, can we do simple floor? Can we just do a simple floor? Is there a really, really simple floor? Um, that's a concrete floor might not look very, very exciting. That's not vibrant enough. What about those tiles there? Oh yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there we go. Right, so Geek Cupboard Corporate sort of, you know, flooring and walls on the inside. <laughs> that's lovely. What do we want to do for the outside? Um, how about we just pick uh, sort of a lovely, there's a lovely cool blue color for the outside. So we'll have a bit of that. And then the kitchen, I'm not really bothered what the kitchen particularly looks like, but uh, but okay, right, what's that? The uh, the kitchen floor, let's make that, let's make that that sort of curious. Oh, there, there you go, like this. We'll give it that weird pattern. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that's quite nice. It looks sort of lovely and it's got circles and shapes and squiggles and things in it. Okay, yeah, that'll do. And then the walls can just be, oh, can we get like a hot pink? Yeah, that, that's not hot pink enough. That's definitely not hot pink enough. Can any of these others be a hot pink? No. Joe, what? we'll go with that. We'll go with that colour there. So yes, geek cupboard corporate kind of main eating area. And then, I don't know, just a, a kitchen that's fallen from the 1960s possibly. That will do the job. There we go. So all that's free. All that's free. We don't pay any money for those. Uh, okay, right. Now, I think we might need to... Let's get some staff, actually. Let's get some staff. So we're going to want... There's us. So there's us and and we're good and we're here and we're ready to go and do some cooking uh, so we probably do want another chef to help us out a little bit so let's get i mean can we see their stats or anything five what does that mean oh is that is that their level or is that how many points they have to spend on their various skills and things i do not know okay i don't know right let's um let's go down let's have uh i don't know elizabeth let's get elizabeth the chef because you're in the middle so you can come on board and then i think should we just get three waiters 
because yeah, there's quite a lot for the waiters to do. They've got to seat people, take the orders, deliver the food, get the payment, and we don't want people queuing up. We don't want people queuing up and waiting outside and you know getting impatient without you know, because we haven't got enough waiters. So let's get ourselves Santiago, Hina, and Zoe. There we go. Right, so you lot are all in, which is wonderful. So yay, there we go. Um, so right, let's go back to let's go back to furnishing. So now let's put in the furniture and tools. So what are we going to need in the kitchen? We're certainly going to need some countertop sort of thing. So let's put these in. Um, how did we rotate those? Ah, I remember. There we go. It's all flooding back now. So we'll put a couple of those down next to each other. So like a big long kind of workspace. Um, and then we're possibly going to need... I mean, I feel like we should put one each of these things in just for the sake of it. Although we are not going to be doing the same stuff that we would normally do. You know, we're not going to be cooking quite as much stuff. We're going to be more making sandwiches and cakes. Um, we need an oven, though, for cakes. That's fine. We probably do need a grandma's choice cooker from 1990. <laughs> Can we not get a more modern one? Um, what's that do? That's a cooker and that's a cooker. Um, I guess we don't need two of those. We will get ourselves a fryer because I feel it's probably important. Can we get a can we get a hot pink fryer? Absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. That's got less slots. I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm sure that'll be fine. Right. Grill Uncle Bob. Again, the, the poor thing where we have to grill Uncle Bob. Sorry, Uncle Bob. We'll go for the blue grill for grilling Uncle Bob. Let's put that down there next to that. I like the fact they've got these sort of bounding boxes around them now, so you can sort of see how much space they're taking up. Um, we'll pop that just there. It can't go exactly adjacent to that, which is a shame. Um, and then a steamer. Do we need one of those? We are going through quite a bit of money already. Um, let's pop the steamer. Uh, can we have it blue? Why not? Pop a blue steamer just there. Okay, so that's done all those. Right, and then small kitchen tools. Ah, right, we're going to want fridges. We're going to want some fridges. Let's have, let's have a blue fridge with blue handles. Pop that there, and then one with yellow handles. Let's pop that next door. Um, we've still got just over five grand, so we'll be okay. We'll have a microwave. We'll have the Quantum Power 4, because the Quantum Power 3 just wasn't quantum powered enough. And then we'll put that there. Uh, oh, that can't quite sit as nicely as I would like. Uh, hang on, hang on. Go back there. It's not quite at the back. Ah, do you know what? It'll do. It's fun. It's sticking out a little bit. It's, you know, like a, a bumping into hazard. Um, and then a blender. Let's get that. And I think that's all the that's all the kitchen stuff. I don't think we need anything else in the kitchen. I think we've got the basics in for a fully functional kitchen, which is splendid. Right, now we need to go and put in tables. Okay, right. What should we have? Long tables or round tables? Let's have round tables. Because that seems, you know, that nobody's, you know, they're not, nobody's on sort of side versus side. Everyone's sort of, you know, all equally distant sort of uh, spaced. Let's get ourselves that, a blue top with with pink seats, because why wouldn't you want that? Um, let's put some people by the window. We do want some smaller uh, tables as well, don't we? Of course we do. So we'll have that. Oh, hang on. There's a... Hang on. If we rotate that round. Ah, that green space, I imagine, is where the, um, the waiter will stand. Oh, that's quite good. So you can control where they stand. Okay, yeah, that's quite handy. If they stand there... So what's this? 150. So, okay. So if we put in one, two, three of those there... And then can we rotate that round so they can stand just there? I do like these boxes that have appeared around here. That's very good. There we go. So five of those. So we'll have five of those bigger tables. And then we do want some of the smaller tables. And there's no small round tables, unfortunately. Let's have those ones. Um, oh, no, they're terrible. Can we have exciting ones? There we go. Blue with the pink. You know, keep it consistent and everything. Um, and they can go along this wall, I think. Let's put one right under that window. And then we'll just sort of put a few more along there like that. There we go. So plenty of tables, I would have thought. Uh, it leaves us with 3,400 monies. Um, rugs and things. Oh, yeah, we get to make it look all pretty. Oh, hang on. Plants. Simple plants in blue plant pots. Because why wouldn't you um, on either side of the door as you come in? That gives us a lovely rustic kind of uh, rustic aesthetic to the place. Let's get ourselves some um, some vases. Yeah, there you go. Nice hot pink kind of vase in that corner. Oh, look, it's, it's popping up in the corner and telling us what our restaurant is looking like. So we've got a modern rustic at the moment. OK, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. This gives us elegant. If we buy ourselves a classic sideboard. Um, OK, 
Let's put a classic sideboard down that end. It gives us three elegance points already. That's rustic and that's modern. Okay, let's have a few of these things down here. Then we'll have one. Is that facing the right way? Um, again, not entirely sure that's facing the right way. We'll put it down and we'll see. Yeah, that looks absolutely fine. Um, and then we'll put some things on the walls. Oh, everyone loves the kind of crazy clock things. The cutlery clocks. Everyone likes those. We'll, we'll pop one of those on a wall just there. Um, and then a sad plant. Oh, let's, let's have a sad plant over there. We'll pop that over that side. And then get ourselves some more sad plants. Oh, these things. Hexa shells. They look fun. We'll have some of those. Right, so we're going down the modern route, I think. It looks certainly like we're getting more modern. And let's have a bookshelf. We'll pop that there. Okay, and then we can get ourselves art. I think that's the last one, isn't it? Right, there you go. Paintings. Let's have a painting of whatever that is. A thing. A castle or something. I don't know what that is. But there you go. We have a painting of it now, so that's good. So yeah, we're very much modern. We are very, very modern indeed. Yeah, we're not really going for rustic or elegant. We're going for modern. Okay, that's fine. That's good. So now we've got, we've burnt through quite a lot of money. <laughs> we've gone through quite a lot of monies. Let's now have a look at, uh, in the character panel. Yeah, do we get to spend points on things? Yes, we do. Okay, right. So Zoe, Hina, Santiago, Elizabeth and us, we have points to spend on stuff. Okay, so it looks like we've started with some stuff. It looks like we've started. So this is us, isn't it? Yeah, this is us. So we're good at cooking pasta and we're good at cooking rice. Okay, is there anything else we're particularly good at? We've got basic sort of uh, basic things. Okay, we've got one in all of these. So we're good at cooking appetizers and whatever all these things are. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Right, so we want to make ourselves better at doing desserts because we're going to be making lots of cakes and things. So um, uh, yeah, how about pastries? Yeah, absolutely. So a point on pastries, please. Um, a point on, let's get a point on ice cream. Because, yeah, we're going to be serving a bit of that. And cookies or cheesecake. Oh, I think. Uh, let's go for, let's go for cheesecake. Okay, so confirm those. So we're now okay at doing those sorts of things. What's the, what are the executive chef things? What's this? Extra pay. After acquiring this skill, you can, you can access to the respective active skill that has the following effects once activated. Okay, by spending 300 monies, you can incite your staff and push them to do better. Oh, oh, there's like little sort of temporary boost things. Oh, oh, this is very interesting indeed. Okay, right, there's all sorts there. Right, Elizabeth the chef. Okay, we want you to be good at desserts too. So I have two points in desserts. Oh, of course, it's cumulative, isn't it? And um, what's that? Fitness. Uh, can you have a point in fitness? That'd be quite good. And when we are going to do other stuff as well, we are going to make sandwiches and things, which are going to be our mains, I imagine. So we'll put one in fitness and one in in there. So there we go. So that's you done. And now over to the waiter staff. Okay, right. Oh, here we go. So now they can have different things. Okay, so basic speaking skills. That's for welcoming. That's for accommodating. That's for taking orders. Okay, so you can be the one that sort of welcomes them, sits them and grabs their orders. Let's welcome them again. Right, so there you go. That's your point done. So so Santiago is going to be our person that welcomes them. And then Hina in the middle there, she can deliver the food and take the money. And she can have an extra point in that. And then she can, uh, maybe she can also take some orders as well. And then Zoe at the end there, you can clean up. So you can do some cleaning. You can take some monies as well. And maybe you could, maybe you could also take some orders and be a bit better at that. That's just extra energy at the end there. Okay, right, lovely. So all of our people have had their skill points spent. Now we need to go to the ingredients panel. Do we start with points? Yes, we've got 10 points. Okay, right. This is crucially important. We go all the way over to the right to drinks. Um, no, not to drinks. It's not in drinks, weirdly enough. Where is it? It's somewhere in here. Yeah, there you go. We want to have coffee. You know, I'll, I'll begrudgingly take coffee. But more importantly, we want to take tea leaves. We want tea leaves because this allows us to serve tea in our lovely cafe, which is very good. So there we go. So we've got tea and coffee in there. It's fine. Now, what else do we want to be able to serve? I mean, cocoa? Can we make hot chocolate if we have a cocoa? I've got no idea. Let's just take that anyway. And then what other things are we going to want? So we might want to put, you know, make some nice sort of, uh, fruit cake type things. I mean, we're going to be making sandwiches. 
So, I mean, do we want to go and get ourselves some extra things to put on sandwiches as well? Um, I mean, yeah, we can make... Have we got lettuce? Yeah, we can make a BLT. Because I think we have bacon unlocked. Yes, we've got bacon. We've got lettuce. We've got onions and we've got tomatoes and stuff. So, that's not so bad. What else would go quite nicely on... I mean, cucumber. That might go well on... That goes well on, like, a, a sandwichy type thing. Um, we might need some more... Where's sort of uh, dairy... Some different cheese. This might go quite nicely. So we've got we've got regular cheese. Why don't we get ourselves some different cheese? Let's get some let's get some blue cheese. And how many points have we got left? Five more points. Okay, can we get ourselves maybe some chili peppers for a bit of a bit of extra pep there? We won't be doing much in the way of seafood. How about we get salami? Because that can be quite nice in a sandwich. That could be very lovely. And then how about we think about? Oh, hang on, uh, bread. Oh no, bread. We've got bread. We've got bread. It's all fine. Um, how about then we look at uh, other stuff? Oh, hang on. Pickles might be quite good. Pickles might be quite good. You'll find them in every sandwich you eat. Yes, absolutely. We want those then. <laughs> Chuck all the pickles in. And then we want stuff to put on top of like uh, cakes and things. So what do we want for these? What do we want here? I mean, do we want to have some of this? A bit of maple syrup or something like that? Jam? slash whatever it is jelly if you want to call it that um or do we want to go for some sort of fruit maybe we get ourselves some nice fruits we've got apples and bananas right now blueberries were very good as i remember putting blueberries in most things was quite good last time we played chef so we'll pick blueberries we can make like a blueberry cheesecake or whatever and then let's pick another fruit shall we um let's pick entirely unscientifically let's pick uh i don't know lemons oh that's they're very bitter they're very bitter limes maybe we can add some limes to things so yeah okay we'll have limes okay so now our menu is not a menu now this is all sorted so we've got all of our ingredient points spent so now uh i want can we come out of this Green. How do we how do we go back to the main screen? Because there was a little list. Yeah, so we've got low prices. That's because we haven't got anything sorted. We need some more recipes. There are some decisions available. Oh, okay. Ah, I remember these. Okay, yeah, so we can't get any um, sort of decisions here. But cleaning-wise... So cleaning the hall, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the toilets. Are there toilets now in Chef? Oh, I don't... Okay. Um, yeah, we didn't put any toilets in. Um, okay. Let's just put these on the first tier, shall we? So we get extra ambience, just general ambience from cleaning our tables, cleaning the <laughs> cleaning the kitchen, uh, cockroach protein supplement, that's nice. And then having floating surprises in our toilets, how lovely. Um, the staff now have salaries, okay. That's interesting, what do they do? Daily morale points gained 100. What do we have here? 35 and all energy is recovered. I think we need to leave them on that. And then this is this is advertising stuff, isn't it? But I, we've not even started yet. So let's not touch that. But okay, so we've done the kind of decision making. Now we need to get ourselves some recipes in. So onto the menu first. Let's go to the drinks. So we can begrudgingly put coffee on. It's fine. And we'll put tea on as well, more importantly. Um, and yeah, the prices are still a bit wonky looking, aren't they? They still start very low. Um, let's make them let's make them the same price. Let's have uh 199 for teas and 199 for coffees yay okay right so we've got those drinks in um yeah we're, we're a cafe we serve tea and coffee we don't serve beers and we're not serving discount soda drinks and cola drinks goodness me um we will put some of the basic things in we're gonna go make our own food as well but yeah so we'll have chocolate chip cookies because that makes sense so let's put those at uh 250 like so. So that'll do for those. Um, and then banana bread with honey sounds quite nice as well. And um, we'll put that at three. There we go. In fact, why am I making those 199? Just put them at two. There we go. <laughs> Round it up. That all, yeah, every little helps and all that. Um, so chocolate chip cookies, banana bread with honey. That's absolutely lovely. But yeah, everything else, everything else is is too sort of restauranty. Uh, I suppose actually no, a, oh, it's still got a jacked. Not a jacket potato. I, this is still fine. A jacket potato. That's sort of cafe-ish. Let's make that. Um, let's make that three. So that can be. That's relatively expensive. Okay. So there we go. So we've got those in, and now we want to go down to the recipe editor. Now, what can we make? Yeah, there. 
sandwiches. Sandwiches are a thing that we can make. So we're going to have to make a heck of a lot of different sandwiches. Oh yes. And we can change all these things. What even is that? What, what purple stuff do you put in a sandwich? <laughs> Chef. Well, hang on. Can we have the, can we have the purple stuff back? I want the purple stuff. Well, oh no, hang on. We have to go back this way. Where was the purple? Hang on. There. Um, we're having that because I don't know what that is. Um, okay. So we're having a sandwichy type thing. Um, we need to give it a name. Um, well, I mean, there was, there's, we can have a, a BLT. A BLT is fairly straightforward and we will make that as a main course. Thank you very much. So yeah. Okay. Accept the BLT and open that. And okay. What's that? Sandwich requirements. Use bread in a high quantity. Okay, right. So we need bread, obviously, because it's a sandwich. Um, what does it mean? Use, it in, use bread in high quantity. 100 grams or more. Oh, there's a little slider for how much you can now use in the, in the recipe. So there we go. Right. So because it's a sandwich, it's saying, well, you need to use quite a bit of bread for this. We need 100 grams of bread. Oh, Okay, that's very interesting. Okay, right. And then we want bacon because it's a BLT. This is probably important. And then we want the lettuce. And then we want tomato. There we go. So a BLT is a bit rubbish looking, isn't it? Hang on. Right. Can we add all the extra bits and bobs? Where was all the salt and pepper and stuff? Was it there? Um, black pepper, that probably go down quite nicely. That ups it to 34. Wow. Okay, that's very good. Um, maybe put some butter on it as well. Butter the bread. No, it's a terrible idea. That was, that was awful. That didn't go well at all. Um, yeah, where's salt? Was that in one of these? Other ones of these? Salt was always a good thing to put in things. And there it is. Right. Pop a bit of salt on. Up to 43. Wonderful. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Anything else we want to add to our BLT? Um, how about... We did get pickles, didn't we? Where are they? Where are they? We could, I suppose you could put a bit of cucumber in there. Up to 45. That's not bad. Pickles. Down to 32. <laughs> Away with you, pickles. Onion always made things better. Onion was always a wonderful ingredient. There we go. So tiny little bit of that. Up to 63. And garlic was always good as well. 74. Do you know what? I'm, I'm quite happy with that. That's okay. Yeah, can we save that? Can we save that right now? Uh, what does that do? Cycle ingredients quality. Click here to change the quality of all ingredients. Oh yeah, of course. Cool. So we could, we could fiddle about with this and make, oh yeah, look at that. So we can just change the amounts of things that we put in. This is very good. Okay, we'll leave that there. What about tomato? Yeah, up the amount of tomato. Lettuce, a bit less there. Bacon, more bacon. It went to 77 there at some point. There it is. Increase the amount of bacon. Oh, th this recipe has the fat tag. Oh no, hang on. Le less bacon. Less bacon. <laughs> Not that much bacon. Um, okay. Cucumber. No one cares. Onion gets it up to 77. Joe, you know what? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So save that. And now we've got ourselves a BLT that we can put from here. So our main course has a BLT and we will charge um, six, six of your monies for that. Okay. I like that. that that's done quite well. That's done quite well. I like that sort of different, uh, the fact you can adjust it. Not there. Where is it? Where are we? Recipe editor. I like this bit here where you can change the amount of stuff that's in a particular recipe. Okay, right. Um, I mean, we can go through and make various sandwiches. I'll do that. But let's go through now and make a new recipe. Um, let's make us uh, a bit of cheesecake. Um, and let's call it, I mean, yeah, we had blueberries, didn't we? Got, we got them for this reason. So um, blueberry surprise in that we'll put, you know, put loads of blueberries on. Can we make it look like it's going to have blueberries on it? Can we make it look blue? That that will probably suffice there. And can we put um, a green thing on it? Just you know, a bit of grass that we got from cutting the lawn outside. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So what's that saying? We need to use a dairy tagged ingredient in a high quantity. Okay, so what do we make? Is it is it cream? Do we, I mean, it's a, it's a cheesecake. Oh no, we haven't got the proper ingredients for cheese. We'll put cream in it. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll suffice. There we go. So 100 grams. Yeah, they use a special type. You use mascarpone for that, don't you, I think, for a cheesecake. Never mind. We've got ours made of cream. It's all good. It's all good. And then we want to get ourselves some uh, fruit. And we got blueberries, so we'll put some blueberries in. Now, can we up the amount of blueberries? Oh, yes. That proper lumps the score up already. We'll put that up to 42. <laughs> can we have a squeeze of lime on it? Just bring that down a little bit, because it's a bit, probably a bit tart. Okay, oh, what's that mean? Oh, it's healthy. 
Oh, yay, it's healthy. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's see if we can do something about that. Let's see if we can make it really unhealthy by adding loads of sugar. Where are we? Sugar. Uh, can we put some sugar in? That, that makes it worse. Oh, that makes it really quite bad. Yeah, okay. It doesn't need extra sugar then. It's already sugary enough. Is there anything else we want to put on this? A bit of chocolate? A bit of white chocolate? A white chocolate uh, white chocolate blueberry surprise might be quite nice. Uh, what if we just do that to there? So 52. Can we do anything else with this? Is there anything else we want to do with this? Um, I don't think we want to add any of those, do we? Um, milk? W would that help? No, it, re it really doesn't help. It spectacularly does not help at all. Eggs? Do, do you mix eggs? I don't, I don't really know how to make a cheesecake. I've made one cheesecake in my life. It looked the part. It looked amazing and it tasted utterly dreadful. So <laughs> I don't know. What do we put in one of these? Definitely not that. Do you know what? That'll probably do. That'll be okay. That's a bit high, isn't it? Fatness is a bit high. Can we bring the fatness down? Oh yeah, we're going to need some sort of breadcrumb type thing, aren't we? We need the kind of the, the biscuity bit, of course. So yeah, how about breadcrumbs to bring it down to 51? Yay! Okay, uh, yeah, if we add that too much, that goes horribly wrong. Yeah, of course, we do need some breadcrumbs. They have to go in, because otherwise the, the cheesecake has no kind of outside. It's just, it's, just the, it's just that bit in the middle there. So yeah, we need some breadcrumbs. Do you know what? That'll do the job. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, we'll save that. Blueberry surprise is done. I mean, is it worth adding another fruit? That could be the surprise. It also comes with apples. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Apples. Hang on. Is that The apples vanished there. Wait, what? People are not exactly eager to try strange desserts. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't use vegetables, meat, or seafood tagged ingredients in your desserts. Oh, didn't I add an apple? Hang on. Did, wasn't that an apple? Where Didn't I just add an apple? Where's the apple gone? We've, okay, we've lost the apple. The apple's vanished. Um, yeah, I don't know. Where, well, okay, we've lost the apple, but the banana is back. Okay, can we add a banana in? Oh, yeah, look, that makes it go up a bit. 71 if we add just the tiniest bit. Yeah, okay, overwrite that and then go into the menu. And then we can throw that into the mix. And now we've got blueberry surprise as part of our dessert. That can be that can be four. A bit more expensive, the blueberry surprise. Okay, so, uh, right, I like that. Let's go through and we'll just add some more things. I don't think we've got, yeah, it's got a limited kind of offering. And there's no vegan recipes either. So we're not going to draw in any vegans at all. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, right. So, yeah, we've definitely not got certain things there that people want. Okay, we just need more choice. We need more things on the menu and possibly some vegan options as well. Okay, right. I shall just go and throw some things together and see what we can come up with. Okay, there we go. It took a little while, but uh, yeah, I was just tinkering around with all the different menu options and stuff. And I think one of the big things about Chef, one of the big draws, is making your own recipes. So yeah, we've got some good things on here. So we've got the BLT. We also have the Just Cheese Sandwich. That, that's just got cheese in, unsurprisingly. Then we've got the Meat Mix. That's got all sorts of meat in it, which sounds very lovely. Then we have the Salad Supreme, because we didn't have a vegan option. So now we have a vegan option, which is very lovely. So we've got the Salad Supreme. It's just got salad in and then we've got two very special ones at the end here so uh, we've got we've got all know what is this uh, and you can edit things now we couldn't do this before in chef but yeah now we can go and have a look so well in all know what is this um we've got bread turkey beef carrots lettuce tomatoes chili peppers peppers uh basil or basil apples limes and eggs <laughs> and it makes quite a delicious sandwich so yeah we've got that that's absolutely fine and then this is the crowning sort of uh the crowning glory of our little sort of uh, cafe here the tea butty why wouldn't you want to have a tea butty let's go and have a look what is in a tea butty and kind of butty means sort of sandwich uh, in the uk sort of um so yeah if we look at this um it is bread with tea leaves and butter that is it. And that is what we're going to leave it as. So, you know, I mean, the, the actual relative recipe rating is relatively low compared to other things, but uh, it's it's a tea sandwich, essentially. So, yep, we're absolutely keeping that. And then down here in desserts, we have those ones there. We've got the blueberry surprise. So we've got geek of a tea cake. Again, there's a theme with this. Uh, this is just a tea cake with some tea leaves in it. Quite a lot of tea leaves. As many tea leaves as we could pour into this thing. So, you know, it's quite a tea-ish sort of cake, which is lovely. I mean, it comes up as a pie. It kind of looks like a cake to me, but whatever. Um, and then we've got yummy, yummy in my tummy. They're the little sort of the tiny little bite things, the little pastry things. They're quite nice. They've got all sorts of fruit and stuff on them to make them nice and healthy. And then we've got the chocolate supreme ice cream. Um, yeah, you can't tell that's an ice cream from looking at this, but, uh, but yeah, it's a 
chocolate supreme. It, it's an ice cream with all of the chocolate in and also honey and butter and salt and other things as well, probably. So, uh, yeah, we have many, many different things and they've all been priced appropriately. It's all very lovely. But yeah, more importantly, yeah, the tea and the coffee are on the menu, which is splendid. So I think... I think we're ready to go. I mean, we've got an awful lot of good things down here. There's a lot of green things down there, which is good. So that's positive. That's positive. So I think we're ready to go. So now what's this showing us? So we've got a 100% attraction to cheap skates. That's absolutely fine. If we get lots of cheap skates in, we still make quite a bit of money. Um, Not so bothered about blue collars, white collars. Um, We are not going to... Oh, right. Hang on. So lower class families are not going to visit the restaurant at all because the ambience rating is too low. Oh, okay. And for upper class families, we might get some lower class tourists and some vegetarians. But yeah, we're not going to get even these people in. Who are they? We're not going to get food enthusiasts in and gourmet people because the ambience rating is too low. Invest in furniture that is more expensive and or more to their tastes. Oh, okay. Maybe we need to get ourselves some slightly better sort of things here then. I mean, what adds ambience. I mean, we've got elegant ambience there with that. But I mean, we can't just have loads of these things everywhere, can we? Just pop loads of these paintings around the place. There we go. Painting of a bloke looking at you while you're trying to eat your food. <laughs> That'll put you off a bit. Um, And I mean, yeah, do we want some of these? That's modern. That's rustic. I mean, I don't know what those people wanted. What did those people want? What What was their kind of their aesthetic kind of ambience goal? I'm not entirely sure. Um, Let's have uh, one of those against that wall let's just put one of those there uh it's the wrong way around uh hang on hang on how can we <laughs> how can we select those there was once a way where we could do this yeah there we go right hang on turn it round put it back the right way around <laughs> there we go um so yeah we've increased our elegant aesthetic so does that mean now more people are coming oh we can see down here um what have we got upper class tourist oh upper class tourists now might, now might pop in as might gourmet people Okay, do you know what? It's absolutely fine. Um, so now it's all done. It's all set up. It's all waiting for us to go. Um, all we need to do now is just give, give it a name. So we just need to give our place a name and then we can open up and just see what happens here. Okay, we've got the perfect name. We're going to call our little cafe here. We love tea, but coffee is served here too, if you really must, although we'd rather you have tea, honestly. There we go. We're going to call it that because there seems to be no character limit at all, so we will call it that incredibly big, lengthy name. I mean, you know, We Love Tea is the main name of it, that we've got on all the signs and stuff, but then the other bit, you know, the coffee sort of a uh, little bit afterwards, that would have to go in very, very small letters. It would go in very small letters indeed, but yeah, it's fine. It's called that, so now I think we're ready to go. I think we are ready to go. So yeah, okay, let's play. So where are our people? I imagine our people need to sort of sprint in in a second. Our staff are going to need to come in. Okay, there we go. So we've got waiting people, got serving staff. Right, okay, hang on a minute. So we have people welcoming, got people doing service, and we've got people checking out. Okay, so who is doing the cleaning and stuff? Who's cleaning tables and what have you? Don't know how we do that yet. Maybe they appear later. But yeah, so we had somebody quite good at welcoming, somebody good at service, and somebody good at sort of checking out and stuff. Uh, okay, here we go. So now we just sit and wait. And of course, I mean, it's, we're new. We're a new place. Oh, look. <laughs> Yay! We're in this 1960s weird kitchen. And it's brilliant. Oh, I'm glad they're happy. I'm glad you're both very, very happy. That's splendid. Right. We have no customers. I mean, are, are we all right to open? I mean, everything looks fine. Everything looks okay. Would anybody like to come by and have some lovely stuff? Hang on, let's put it on to fours. Yes, our first person. Hello, sir. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to We Love Tea, but coffee is served here also, if you really must. But honestly, we'd rather you have the tea or whatever we called it. Okay, <gasps> some more people. Okay. Oh, you, you sort of hop dramatically onto your seat. Oh, that's very exciting. Uh, yeah, you're going to be having your food under the uh, under the glare of this a sort of beardy man with his wonderful hat on. I apologise if that's putting you off a little bit, but you'll be fine. Okay, so you're pondering the menu. Is there anybody else around? Oh, no, right, you're taking an order. This is all good. This is good. You're taking an order. We're off to a good start. We've got some money coming in eventually. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Three people. Oh, yes, absolutely rocking now. Okay, right, and they're all sat down. They're going to have something to eat. Okay. Move time on. Another two. They can go and sit on the table for two. Uh, yeah, now. Are we going to have enough? Oh, oh, oh. They looked a little bit grumpy there. Oh, hang on. Have you finished already? Oh, you're, you're done. Okay, okay. You're a cheapskate and you were uh, waiting for the bill. 
Oh, hang on, did, you did just pay, right? You did just pay, you didn't just go away. You're a lower class tourist, you're waiting to be served. And yeah, up here then, yes, there we go. So we can see how many things are waiting to be cooked. And now this one is here waiting to be served. So their food is now all being served with their... They've got red kind of napkin type things. I'd rather they had not those. But there we go. I mean, I wonder what they ordered. I wonder what you ordered. What did you have? A salad supreme and a coffee. Oh, you've had coffee. Oh, you traitors. Oh, you've had coffee as well. Oh, hang on a minute. This is outrageous. Hang you're having coffee. Hang on a minute. Hang on. You're all having coffee. This this isn't good enough. <laughs> this, this is just absolutely outrageous. We might have to take coffee off the menu if everyone's having coffee. This is awful. Hang on. Ooh, why is no one having tea? What's wrong with the tea? Right. Okay. Hang on a minute. We need to overprice the coffee to make sure people have tea instead. Can we do that? <laughs> Is that something we can do? I mean, okay, it's really nice coffee. It's really expensive coffee. And you know what? Let's make the tea a bit cheaper because clearly, clearly the tea isn't good enough around here. So there we go. We'll change our tea supplier. I'm sure we'll get better tea. What have these people had? You've had the tea butty. You've had the salad supreme. You've had a BLT and a jacket potato. And you have also had the BLT and the jacket potato. They're kind of sort of mediocre looking. So non plus face just there. But that's okay. That's fine. That's okay. And what are you... Oh no, we've looked at theirs, haven't we? Did we look at theirs? Oh, they've just hopped up and finished, have they? Okay, uh, okay, that's good. And we've got more people waiting to be seated. Get more people in. Get more people in. They've got themselves just cheese and just cheese and a jacket potato. Oh, wildly adventurous with your food choices there, you two in the corner, but it's fine. Another table of four coming in. Okay, this is all good. This is all good. The money is coming in. It's looking very nice indeed. I'd, I'd like it if we had a properly sort of full stacked out cafe. But yeah, this is fine. This is okay. I mean, yeah, it's day one. We can't expect too much from day one. And yeah, we've had steady, a steady flow of people. I don't think there's been a point where it has been empty. I mean, it might be empty if this lot leave and nobody else comes back in. That might be the problem. What are you eating? You've got, ah, oh, well done, lower class tourist. You've got some tea. You, you, you are wise. Can we promote you? You can, you can come in and be head of tea services. Uh, chocolate chip cookies and just cheese. And you have tea and the meat mix. And you have tea and a blueberry surprise and the meat mix as well. I think maybe we've got some British tourists in and they've come in and gone, oh, they serve tea. Splendid. So yeah, we've got some tea just there, which is lovely. You have not ordered and they have not ordered as of yet. Okay. So again, though, we're not empty. Some more people coming in. Another full table. That's very good. And I think you are placing your order. Uh, okay, you're having coffee. I mean, okay, it, it's yeah, you're going to be paying for the nose for it, but that's fine. And geek cup of tea cake. And uh, somebody's ordered an oh no, what is this? Oh yes, enjoy oh no, what is this? It's the flavour sensation that's going to sweep the nation. That's exactly what it's going to be. If anybody survives after eating it, I'm sure it'll be fine. We've not got enough tables and people are having to be turned away. Um, hang on. Can we get some more people in? What do you want? Do you want a table for three? And they're after a table for three as well? Okay. And oh, hang on. Well, who are you? Somebody else just came to the front. Oh, hang on. You just came in right at the end there. <laughs> you joined late. They're furious. They're also furious. Grr, very angry. Uh, yeah, we need some more tables by the look of it. So in the evening, our little cafe, our little cafe becomes very, very popular in the evening. I'm amazed at how busy it is this late on. I mean, I think we close at 11, don't we? I think 11 o'clock at night is the closing time. I mean, what's everyone eating here? What have you got? So you've got the Geek of a Tea Cake and you've got, you've got an Oh No, What Is This? It's going to take off. I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. You've got an Oh No, What Is This? Uh, you have BLT and oh, you've got coffee as well, traitor. And um, yeah, you've got coffee. Oh no, hang on. Are you the same person? Hang on. Did you and you have the same? Oh no, you had a slightly different dessert. You had the blueberry surprise and you had the yummy, yummy in my tummies, which, you yeah, know, they're very lovely. Have you ordered anything you've not ordered? What did you have? You've got coffee and the BLT. You've got a coffee. You've got a coffee. Oh, dearie me. So many coffees. So many coffees. It's, it's like, a, it's like a, it's a knife through the heart every time. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm sure many people having tea. We've not just seen them have tea. Uh, what about you lot on the side here? No, that, that's still another coffee. Yay, you've got tea. Well done, gourmet. And there you go. Look, that says it all, doesn't it? The gourmet customer with the tea. Yeah, that, that just says everything about this. Our gourmet people having the finest tea in the land. Of course, Yorkshire gold, obviously. Okay, I mean, we're, we're making quite a bit of money. Let's move time on. So I think now we're going to close. I don't think anybody... Oh, what do we do with this? What's this? Oh, the service here is excellent. We had the most pleasant experience. There's a little, there's a little thing. 
There's a little kind of event pop up. Oh my goodness me, this was not in the game last time we played. The service here is excellent. We had the most pleasant experience. So we can take the credit and the popularity will change or we can praise the staff and the staff morale will go up. Let's let's praise the staff. If it wasn't for the staff, this place would be terrible. So yeah, let's praise the staff indeed and get them on board and make them all happy and stuff. Okay. And we will just run on to the end of the day. The waiter's just having a chat with them there, saying, can you eat quicker? I'd like to go home, please. I want to go and see my family. Come on, eat up. There we go. Clear off your horrible lot. And um, right, done. So here we go. Now let's see what happens here. So yeah, Chef did have a bit of a, a bit of a problem with this last time. At one point, the uh, the books did not balance very well. Uh, so how are we looking? So we spent 8,430 on on quite a lot of stuff hang on how much did we earn so we earned 892 monies um oh hang on yeah that's not good is it so we we earned quite a bit on food and quite a bit on drink but it it doesn't really <laughs> it didn't really cover everything so the raw ingredients we might need to up our prices a tiny bit we might need to make things a little bit more expensive because we paid 255 on on wages we spend 750 on rent we only just made that with our food and um, raw ingredients were 367 and maintenance was 188 okay right so we're a little bit broke we've gone down the absolutely ordinary chef route it's all fine there we go so accept that imminent bankruptcy the bank wanted to let you know that you well hang on can we slow time down that you are now officially poor they remind you that they won't let you stay in the red for much longer and here is a, a person with their head in a pan. Holy lasagna. Yeah, I'm aware that we're a bit poor. It's fine. I know this to be true. Okay, do our people have any points to spend? Um, no, we do. We have points to spend. Oh, okay. C can we can we spend some points? Can we go to the character panel and spend some of our points? What do we want to get our points on? Um, what about one of these things? What about one of these things? Can we do this? So welcoming time, that increases the uh, that increases the speed of the waiters doing their welcoming. That increases them uh, doing the orders. That's the cleaning, and that is the kitchen preparing stuff. I don't think we need those. I don't think we need those, and those will cost money that we just don't have. We don't have that money to hand. So, okay, not those then. How about we get better at making pastries and better at making a pie i mean that we saw some people have the pie so we'll have that and then uh yeah sandwiches and burgers our people were better at burgers oh my goodness me there's grilled sandwiches and all sorts of stuff okay we'll, we'll up we'll up our knowledge of sandwiches like so and then we'll keep that point maybe and spend it on there We'll spend it on sandwiches, maybe. If we don't go broke first, which, of course, the, the chance of that are quite likely because this is chef and that's sort of what happens. Um, influence points. We have an influence point. We have an experience point, which I think we just went and spent, didn't we? We've got five ingredients points. Hang on, hang on. What's an influence point? Oh, so to spend influence points, you have to go to the sort of the, the city map, if you like, and then we can go to another district and we can make our area more influential to the people over there. Okay, why don't we do that? We've, we've got one of those to spend. Why don't we try and lure people in from... Well, why don't we go over there, next door? This bit of Old Town, why don't we try and lure people in from over that side? And that means we can get more people in and therefore we can make more money from more meals and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. So that's that done. Okay, splendid. Right, so come back out of that. Let's see what's going to happen today. Then, right, the game has poured itself. Everyone is, everyone's got their energy back. So everyone is back and is ready and raring to go. Let's maybe up our prices a tiny little bit. Can we get the, where was the thingy advice, whatever it was called? Is it ranking? We're 61st. Okay, where was the, there was like a popularity thing, wasn't there? Where's that? Chef advisor. Okay, service, food, right, the prices are still amazing. The prices are amazing. And of course, that's appealing to the cheapskates, but we need to make some money or we are going to go <laughs> fabulously broke. So, um, so yeah, okay, right, menu, menu. Let, let's just put the prices up by two, two monies per item. I decided in the end to bump it up by three per item because still some of the things were looking quite low. So there we go. We'll see if that makes a difference. And I imagine that is going to make people quite furious because we attract cheapskates and they're not going to like the fact that all of a sudden the menu has become relatively expensive. You know, I mean, we've just we've just tacked on quite a lot of markup there 
onto those meals. We just increased the cost by a large number of percent. I, I can't work out what the percent was there, but you know, a lot of, a, they're a lot more expensive now. So they might get a little bit grumpy about that, but okay, right. Well, I mean, let's move Tom on. Let's get to maybe, let's get to sort of mid afternoon, possibly just see how things are going. We've got six ingredient points. Why don't we spend them? And then we can go and make ourselves our wonderful cake. We can go and make our fourth birthday cake for the channel. So why don't we get some fruits here? Let's go and get, I mean, strawberries are nice and raspberries are nice. So we'll get a couple of those. Then we've got four points remaining. Okay, let's get pineapple because yeah, pineapples are nice as well. And then do we want anything else from over here? Uh, maple syrup. That, that's quite nice. I like maple syrup and a bit of jam as well. I like a bit of jam. So, you know, preserve or whatever you want to call it. That leaves us with one point left. What do we want to get for one point? Do you want to get one of these from over here? A bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon might go quite nice in a cake if we just add loads of it. I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. And now let's go in and create ourselves a wonderful birthday cake. Right, so, um, yeah, where are, I mean, yeah, this here, I know it says pie, it, it looks cakey to me. It looks cakey. So we'll we'll have this and we'll put um, TGC, or oh, TGV, I don't know who that is, uh, fourth uh, birthday cake. Yay, <laughs> at the end of it there. And um, yeah, I bet we can't make it any more corporate than, 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 than these colors here. I don't think we get any kind of corporateness about this. Nope, that doesn't look that ju that'll do. It's all fine. Okay, so go into there. Right, we need fat, flour, and sugar. Okay, so we'll we'll put butter in, and then we want to go into here. I think the flour and the sugar are in this bit. There's the sugar definitely, and the flour is there. Okay, so we only need twenty grams of that. I think it said in there. Um, yeah, twenty grams. Uh, twenty grams or more for the butter. Oh, okay. And then flour in a high quantity, 100 grams or more. Okay, push that up. Oh, and then we're done there. The sugar in an average quantity, 30 grams or more. Okay, good. Right, so we're currently on minus nine. Okay, I mean, to make a cake, don't we need some sort of eggs as well? Don't we need eggs? I imagine putting eggs in is going to help. It, it, oh, no, there you go. Yeah, it went up to five. And then let's just add loads of other fun things. I mean, I like chocolate. Obviously, we want chocolate on the cake. That's going to be nice. So we'll put loads of chocolate on. Um, I mean, obviously, we want a, a small amount of the tea leaves. Uh, it doesn't seem to make much difference. So we'll, we'll put the tea leaves to there. So we've got some tea leaves sprinkled in. Uh, jam, that can go in the middle. I mean, it brings it down. Oh, there you go. It puts it back up again. That'll do. And then fruit. Fruit, 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 fruit. There it is. And when we got all these extra fruits, raspberries, pineapples, strawberries. And yeah, that's that's all fine. 41. Okay, can we fiddle about with the numbers? That's 41. What about more pineapple? Uh, that doesn't really matter. Strawberries seem to be better if there's less. Uh, okay, what if we just chuck a blueberry in there? Oh, that makes it wonderful. Okay, yeah, put that down to there. Limes. That makes it go up to 78. <laughs> really? 83 if we just absolutely chuck loads of limes in. Bananas up to 89. Yep. Okay. 90. Okay. 10 grams of banana makes this a wonderful, wonderful thing indeed. Uh, do we want anything else? Can we, can we figure out how to make this perfect? I wonder if we added some salt. There's not much saltiness in this. Does that make it go up or down? Can we increase our thing? I think maybe we've peaked there at one of the best foods ever made. I mean, the fact that this is almost at the top, that's surely one of the best things. I mean, honey, does that make it any better? No, no, it does not. Uh, maple syrup, we just bought some of that. We just added that to our list. Can we do anything with that? No, that doesn't seem to have any bearing on it either. Do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Can we just save that? And then can we add that immediately to our menu? And then let's see who's going to have some of that. So TGC birthday cake. Yay. It's probably quite expensive to make. So we'll put it at nine of your monies. Okay. So now we just need to see if anybody is actually going to buy this. Is anybody going to order themselves a lovely TGC fourth birthday cake? We've unlocked an achievement. Oh, hurrah, that's exciting. You open your first restaurant in the old town. The air is full of tourists spending their days visiting old buildings. You better be ready to fill their bellies. So many tourists with socks and sandals. Oh, socks and sandals is the way to go, absolutely. Okay, I don't quite know what that achievement got us. I mean, it would be lovely if it paid us a massive pile of money. That would be splendid, but I don't think it does. Uh, right, okay. What are you ordering? Have you ordered? You are ordering... Oh, you're not ordering the birthday, the birthday cake. 
Somebody order the birthday cake. It's very, very special and it's really good for you and it's delicious. And we have ourselves a winner. So this person here, this gourmet customer, of course, has ordered themselves a TGC fourth birthday cake. Yay, which is splendid news. So well done. It is a wise choice. I mean, it's a shame you've decided to wash it down and, you know, sully its delicate and fantastic flavours with a coffee rather than a fine cup of Yorkshire gold. But never mind, never mind. You've got the cake and that's the main thing. And I don't think anybody else has gone for it. I don't think anybody else that I have seen has actually gone for the cake. They've not ordered yet. They haven't checked those earlier and these people haven't ordered either. So uh, yeah, you are the first. So well done. I hope you enjoy it. I mean, you might gob it all over the table because it's revolting. Uh, it, it apparently is nice. It apparently is nice according to the stats we've got in the game. Here we go. So there you go. You are eating. I mean, it doesn't look much like a cake. They These don't look like sandwiches upon these plates. Sandwiches and cakes are not those things there. But Joe, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. Um, okay, right. We're getting some people through the doors. We've got 801 money. I think we need over a thousand to break even. And anything else over that is a profit. I think we might need about 1100. So we might just possibly scrape through. We might go a little bit bankrupt again. We need all these people to pay, which hopefully we'll have no problems with. But yeah, we're not going to... Are we going to get over a thousand? Okay, we're over a thousand. Are we going to get any final people coming in late on? No, it doesn't look like we are. So we've got these final people here. Oh, hello there. I can't believe a place like this So it's terrible food. The quality is really low. Take the blame or blame the staff. I'm not blaming the staff. I will take the blame. Your popularity changes by minus 10. I like these. I like these little events popping up. Yeah, I'm not blaming the staff. They work really hard. They're working very hard, making sure that everyone gets their food. And yeah, that's the first complaint we've had. So I will take the blame. There you go, you grumpy so-and-sos. Get out of my cafe for bringing the mood down. Okay, right. We've got $1,226.93. How is this going to go? Oh, a minor event. Oh, no, we've dealt with the minor event. Is there another minor event? Okay, stop telling us there's a minor event. I don't want to deal with the minor event. It's been dealt with. It's been handled. Okay, and yeah, look. We've actually, we've, we've not gone out of business. We made $1,663.50 and we paid out $1,590. So we've made a colossal profit of $72.60 and we lost some popularity. Yay! Okay, but there we go. There we go. At least we've actually managed to turn a profit. Which, you know what? In Chef, that's actually not too bad on the second day. That is not too bad at all in this game. And I think with the success of day number two firmly under our belt now, I think we'll finish with Chef. I think we'll finish up. We've taken a look at the new version and it's really, really lovely. It's lovely to come back to Chef anyway. And it's very nice to play Chef. It's it's a fun game. It's really wonderful. You can create all sorts of crazy food things and it's, it's a delight to play. It's very, very nice. I think we've seen enough of the release version now to get a picture of what the game is like now, of what the full game is like. I mean, it's not too different to when we last played. When we, I last played this a year and a half ago. I mean, that's quite a long time, but I've come straight back in. And yeah, there's been a few new bits and bobs here and there, like the city map and changing the sliders, the amount of uh, sort of the ingredients you want to put into your recipes and stuff. But other than that, I've been able to come straight back in and pick it up without having to do tutorials and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's nice and familiar. It's not changed too much from when we last played it. So I think we will say cheerio to Chef for now. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, Chef. It's a lot of fun. You can make all sorts of crazy recipes and stuff. And and uh, yeah, it's just very, very enjoyable. I do like playing Chef. But uh, yeah, we'll say farewell to our lovely cafe of Wheel of Tea. But coffee is served here also. But please have the tea because we'd honestly prefer to serve you that. Or whatever we called it. Something like that. You yeah, know, it's small print. It's probably something like that. But uh, but yeah, it's been nice to come back. But yeah, we'll finish up for now. And of course, yeah, this ends as well. The fourth birthday celebrations for the Geek Cupboard. And I said this earlier as well. But if you have joined in, if you've been part of any of the Geek Cupboard stuff. So if you've liked the videos, if you've watched the videos if you've joined the discord if you've left comments and you know just took part in anything geek company over the last four years then thank you very much indeed it is very very much appreciated you have made this into what it is because yeah as i said earlier if it wasn't for you lot out there if it was not for you lovely people doing all this stuff and watching and commenting and chatting and doing all that stuff then then it would just be me in this tiny little sort of cupboard room i mean now just shouting at myself so you know you make it what it is you make it the wonderful little community that has 
has been created. And for that, I thank you very much indeed. So uh, yes, here's to another four years and more. Who knows where we're going to go? Who knows what's going to happen in the next four years in the life and times of the Geekabird? But uh, yeah, we shall have fun finding out. So again, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we'll finish up for now. So farewell to Chef and farewell to the fourth birthday celebrations. And then you know what? At least we did get somebody buying one of the cakes. At least somebody, one person saw it fit to buy one of our birthday cakes, which I think is only good and proper. So there we go. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense and shenanigans that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. <laughs> These people are eating the tables. They're just devouring the tables. They're so hungry. There's no atmosphere at all. Were you sat in the car park? <laughs> are you sure you came to the right place? Mein Knien stan in Brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this.